Hi, I'm Elizabeth Ann Atkins, co-creator of Two Sisters Writing and Publishing. And I'm Katherine Greenspan, the other co-creator. So we've both been writing for most of our lives, and Katherine spent many years submitting short stories to magazines hoping they would publish her stories. And she just got rejection letter after rejection letter. So we took control. We started our own publishing company. And Catherine's brainchild is now real. This is our anthology of new writers. So all those writers out there who were struggling to get their stories published are now published with two sisters writing and publishing. It's our international anthology. It's thrilling, exciting, and Catherine came up with this idea. So today, we're going to hear about how Catherine came up with this idea for an annual anthology published by two sisters writing and publishing, and how it's helping writers get exposure all around the world. Catherine, can you tell us how you got this idea? Sure. As you said, I got many rejection letters. Um, I also got a couple of stories published um, when I was in grad school. And I, in, the, in exchange, I would get a stapled together copy of a multiple uh, Xeroxed book. Um, and when we started our company, I wanted to take it to another level. So I, so I wanted to actually publish a physical book. And so we created monthly contests starting in October of 2016, and all the winners, we had two contests every month from October of 2016 till December of 2017, and all the authors are in the anthology. We had 21 authors with 24 stories, so that means two people had multiple stories, which is exciting. So that's how it started. And so tell me about some of the writers and their stories. Like, are they experienced writers or what struck you to make them win the contest and get eligible to be in the anthology? So we hold all of our contests. They're blind, so we don't know who the writers are at the time that we're reading the stories. We hold them on submittable. So people submit the story and then at the end of the month when the stories close, I read them all and then pick a winner. And, um... A lot of our authors have um, MFAs in creative writing, a lot of professional writers. One person even runs a writing program at a university. Uh, there's a, we have a realtor, we have um, a, a whole variety of mm -hmm. people. And so tell me some of the topics that the contests have been focused on each month. So magical realism was the very first one, and our two winners that month were um, Cassandra Rios and Anthony Johnson. They both wrote great, great magical realism stories, very different, and they both have MFAs in creative writing. We also had a romance. We also had two stream of consciousness. Um, and actually, the stream of consciousness winners, one was from Spain and one was from Australia. So mm -hmm. there's something about international writers and stream of consciousness. We also had an erotica story and um, a Western. We had a spaghetti Western, which our three-time winner, Leslie Mazingo, suggested a spaghetti Western short story. Mm -hmm. And so when you select the winners, tell me what elements you're looking for. So I am selecting the winner based on how creative they get with the topic. So something like magical realism is definable and straightforward, but w when it's romance or um, one of the other random categories like write a story inspired by Elton John's Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Mm -hmm. So I'm really looking for somebody just to take the topic of the story and run with it and just really create something unique mm -hmm. and well written. So I judged the erotica contest and I was just astounded at the creativity and I love when there's a surprise twist in a story and I just was so impressed with the way people took ordinary situations and transformed them into something like enchanting and exciting and mysterious. So, um, Catherine, tell me why you feel so committed to showcasing new writers. Um, I feel committed to showcasing new writers because 
that is the way you get your confidence and you continue to write short stories. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I hate hitting the reject button, but I have to do it because <laughs> there's a, only one person can win in each category. And um, I ha we have a quote in the email that goes out saying, I hope that this rejection only inspires you to be one step closer to publication and to mm -hmm. resubmit and just to keep trying. Mm -hmm. That encouragement is so important because as writers, we write because we are writers, period. And that's just what we do daily. So speaking of daily, Catherine, you and I are always in the daily grind of working, writing books, publishing books, taking all the steps required, marketing, events, everything. So sometimes we don't step back and see the forest for the trees because we're so in the trees. But literally, this is proof of having a vision and putting action behind the vision. And it's really quite revolutionary because the publishing industry has had such a tremendous disruption in recent years with the advent of the internet. And it has put the power in our hands. No more begging agents <laughs> and editors and, you know, oh, please, please read my work. Oh, please pay attention. And you can have the most brilliant, genius writing, but unless someone anoints it with their book deal, um, then it will just languish. So we took the power into our hands to publish our own books that we write and the books that we ghostwrite. But this one is enabling us to showcase the new writers and give them that wonderful affirmation and encouragement that their books, their stories are impactful, valuable, entertaining, educational, inspiring, fun, and so it's really exciting and it's such the entrepreneurial spirit that we are demonstrating each day as we work. And so we encourage others, we want to serve as an example to others to do that as well. To take the power and make something, create something every day in whatever excites you. So Catherine, tell us where the anthology is available and what's the response you're getting from it. The response has been incredible. All of the authors um, have a copy, or the copy is on their way to them right now because we just published it. So um, it's available. We use the Ingram Book Group for distribution. So that means it's available everywhere books are sold. All you need is the ISBN or the title, and any bookstore can order it for you. It's also available as an ebook. So 39,000 retailers around the world, including Amazon and barnesandnoble.com and independent booksellers, it's available everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and currently our 2018 contests are running. So we have our July contests are closing at the end of July, and then we have additional August through the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So those authors are we're gearing up for another one for to publish next year. So how can people enter our contest right now? And go to two sisterswriting.com and find the, the one of the menu items is short story contests open now. Mm -hmm. The stories are a thousand to twelve hundred words and there there are links to submittable. Is there a price to enter the contest? Yes, there's a fee of $8 through Submittable to enter the contest, and that covers the prize winnings, which are each winning story earns $75, and then we put that story on our website, and then the next year we make an anthology. Mm -hmm. And we also post pictures and um, stories about each winner on our blog. A Tale of Two Sisters, which is at two sisterswriting.com. Right. <laughs> Tell on Amazon.com. It's twelve ninety nine for the paperback and seven ninety nine for the ebook. Okay. And tell me what some of the authors have said to you in response to winning and being published in our anthology. Everybody is thrilled. Everybody is thrilled. So I mentioned Leslie, our writer who won three times. And the second time she won, it was just, I think she was doing cartwheels. And then the third time that she won, um, she couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. So everybody is thrilled. Mm -hmm. And again, the, the winners are selected 
quote blind right. because their names when they submit the story there's no name on the story you just right. read it and they win based on the value and impact of the writing right mm -hmm. exactly yeah exactly so please check out our anthology it's so exciting it's Catherine's brainchild and it's promoting the power of writing for writers around the world. Please support this wonderful endeavor and please enter our contest at twosisterswriting.com. Catherine, is there anything else you want to share about the anthology? I mean, it's pretty cool. It, it just sort of, this is our logo. You named it the first annual anthology featuring international writers with both our names as the editors. Um, and we have listed all the winners on the back, right? Right, Catherine? Yes. And then we also had a wonderful intern from the University of Michigan assisting with the editing, right, Catherine? Yes, that's right. Can you talk about her? Sure. So Rima Beydoun put together, she's an, uh, an English major at the University of Michigan. She worked with us as an intern and she put together the book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're very grateful to Rima for all of her hard work and sharing her own expertise that's excellent practice in the publishing industry for her. And we always like to help students from our alma mater, University of Michigan, where we were English majors together. <laughs> okay, please buy our book, Two Sisters Writing and Publishing. And also, please like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with anybody that you think might want to enter our contest and or read the anthology. So thanks for watching. I'm Elizabeth Ann Atkins, co-creator of Two Sisters Writing and Publishing. And I'm Katherine Greenspan, co-creator of Two Sisters Writing and Publishing. And we want to help you make your writing dreams come true.